Uh, okay, so we're called to order at 7.08 for our meeting of the Finance Committee. And the first item that we have on the agenda is taking a look at the minutes for January 24th. Kathy, you had drafted those. I had sent them out prior to the meeting. Yep. So any, any thoughts, questions, um, corrections? Otherwise I would look for a motion <laughs> adjourn. Um, long day. Uh, <laughs> motion to approve. I'll motion to approve the uh, minutes from January 24th. Yeah, I second. And all in favor? Aye. Aye. Minutes are approved. Okay. Then that is going to take us up our one and only agenda item for tonight, which is the budget. And really, uh, there was only one uh, um, change worth noting here that, that was made in the budget last time, and that was following up on the uh, foundation meeting. So let me share over here. Okay. And while that is tiny, let me. Uh, Zoom in on that. That's a bit better. Okay. So our one change here um, is happens to align on the revenue page as well as align on the expenditure page and reflects the revised estimate for uh, funds to be um, revi revised estimate for hours for the coordinator. Uh, following the foundation's meeting. So um, rather than 25,000, uh, that's been revised down to 17. And in addition to changing that number, um, the miscellaneous income uh, line, the change also takes place here on staff salaries. Uh, since I don't have it in front of me. So could you just tell me where we are? So you're revising the um, mm -hmm. development coordinator salary um, yes. from 25 something? 25,000 to 17,000. Okay. And then, so that is showing up on uh, what line or what, how do I identify that? Uh, this one. Okay, but so line number three. three eight nine zero zero miscellaneous income, and then seventeen thousand here in this blue column. Okay, slow down. Miscellaneous income, and we're on the we're on the expense fund form or the. It's on the revenue fund. Revenues, uh, Kathy. Revenue page. Yeah. Okay, and it also shows up where. I mean, the I'm expenditures not looking for line. Okay, so under okay. personnel services, this is line four zero zero three zero. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. So just to, to 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 understand with them with, with reducing the funds to from twenty five to seventeen. Do we have to come up with the with the difference then on our budget, Eric, then to cover the other eight? You broke up for me. Okay. A moment. Sorry, so my question is that with the with the um, the reduction from twenty five thousand to seventeen thousand, is that eight thousand dollars now that um, the um, the library budget has to cover. Sorry, Eric, you're you frozen. Oh, now you're okay. Eric, hello. Yep. 
I'm back. Okay. okay. Did you hear? Okay. Those? Let's try that again. Okay. So here's here's a question: With the twenty five thousand going down to seventeen, mm -hmm. that eight thousand dollar difference, then do we are we cover? Do we have to cover that in our budget then for uh, next year? Um, in the no. staff salary? No. Oh. No. Um, so you're just reducing, the. You're just reducing that position salary to seventeen thousand. Yes, um, okay. reflecting the conversation um, at the foundation about um, being more streamlined and deliberate with uh, the, the hours, as well as some conversations that I've had uh, with Melissa one-on-one um, -on -one about her wanting to be more or less the same. And um, she doesn't want to be a, um, she doesn't want to feel like she's a drain on things. Okay. Is she willing to? Is so, she willing to continue to work at that salary level? And there's a point where she yes. can return. Okay, good. Okay, okay, good. Okay. So the uh, yeah, but a good way to think about the uh, the coordinator uh, is that it's very much a projection and that on the revenue and expenditure pages that it's very much um, for every dollar that we expend that will show up for Melissa's salary under the staff salaries uh, line, there will be a dollar to match it that will show up in revenue. So the net effect, um, both in terms of budgeting as well as in terms of when the budget goes into actual effect is that it'll be a wash. Um, it will be a wash that our accountants like because we're tracking very carefully the money that um, is being expended on Melissa on her salary, as well as the money that we are receiving for that salary, which is what they like to see. But in, in terms of calculations, it's an even balance. Do you know offhand, I don't think if you do, do you know offhand, well, how many hours that a week that works out to? I know she's currently doing 15 a week. So what does that come down to? I mean, if you don't, don't worry about it. Hmm. Well, I would be getting into compensation related to a particular employee. Um, and it is a conversation that happened this afternoon that I need to follow up with you on, Kathy. Yeah, um, that's okay. So I just well, it, it, that it doesn't it's not required these moments. Don't worry about it. The, the 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 short and simple answer of it is is that it projects to fifteen hours a week. I have to get into details to explain why that is. All right. Because on the surface of it, it's a statement that makes no sense at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I'm intrigued. Well, well so. We've talked, Eric. I, Eric, we've talked so much today. I don't need any more. <laughs> so. Yeah. To tell you what, just uh, if you give me thirty seconds after the after we adjourn this meeting, I'll yeah. loop you in once sure. we're out of uh, open meeting. Sure. Okay. Okay, and that's really the only only adjustment um, that was made following the the foundation meeting. Okay. Just if you go back to the expend the um, mm -hmm. um, the the page where it had the the salaries, you had a note one next to Social Security. What was that intended for? Okay. Um, uh, for for a, yeah, that one there. It's got note one on it, and um, I didn't see when. Oh, you know. There's no no leave. There was, there is not. Uh, okay. Good eyes, though. I need to remove that. A couple of years back, there would have been a note. Um, yes. And then the the years turned over, but then the note remained. Got it. Okay. So we need to update the form. Fair enough. And then, if you could go scroll to the top, um, then mm -hmm. as to. Um, Keep going. Yeah, we go. So under the, the library salaries, um, 
the we we're line four zero zero two five going up to two ten and and the coordinators positions in that two ten. It is not. It's not. It's in the three. It's in the three sixty. Yes. Okay. So. Um, the librarian salaries line, and this is quintessential examples of uh, budget lines where we can't change, change the definition to more yeah. accurately describe what they represent. Librarian salaries, what that represents is salaried staff, Yeah. Um, which right now there are two of us. Um, after the first of the year, there will be three. Um, we have another one of our professional staff that will be uh, moving to salaried uh, just because they're more than eligible and it is a lot easier um, administratively and as, as well as for that staff member uh, in terms of managing uh, their time spent. So um, we have one person that's moving from staff salaries then to librarian salaries. That's the, the big difference there. Uh, the other noteworthy difference is that um, with the, the staff salaries, part of that difference is made up is that we did not budget uh, for the outreach coordinator uh, position um, when, when we passed this budget last year, but we are budgeting for it going forward so that um, we're projecting what we expect um, as best we can manage. Um, from for the impact of that budget on this line. Okay. So that's probably an extra 17 um, and about the same amount that's been added uh, to the current year budget as far as uh, what we'll have ended up spending on the outreach coordinator once the fiscal year is done. Okay. So <clears throat> just from a gap analysis, so if we look at what the budget was set for, well, actually, if we look at the estimate, then uh, for 21-22, we are going from around 546 to 570. Um, so we're going up. Um, 24,000 and and is that for and we're looking at our social security number coming down and medical insurance coming down mm -hmm. with with the library sat the person going on salary will will, will any of those do you anticipate changing Um, you broke up a little bit. I'm sorry, Bill. Okay. I, all I'm looking for is just sort of the, the estimate 21, 22 numbers for library and staff going to budget 22, 23 is higher, um, year over year, but we're, we're also reducing the social security and the medical insurance down. And we're also adding one person into salary. Yes. Level. So do we think that the social security and medical insurance will be going down? Or I know we had a person that um, we that um, retired, um, but if we're putting somebody else in, in into a salary position, do, do we anticipate? Mm -hmm. Is that realistic for those numbers to go down is my question. Yes. Okay. Um, those are both, um, numbers that we can calculate out uh, pretty okay. confidently. Uh, for the, the medical insurance, uh, you know, we know what the premiums are. We get billed very regularly for a pretty set amount. There's a little bit of variance in there because mid-year uh, the new rates take effect and we don't know okay. at this point what those will be. Um, but we, we can say with some confidence uh, as to where that will be. We have one fewer person on insurance this year. Right. Okay, that's kind um, of what I remember, yeah, okay. So with one fewer person on insurance, um, that's, that's the difference there. Um, with the social security, um, 
both the IMRF and the Social Security are, they, they have rates that are applied to staff salaries. Um, and the rates are not always consistent from year to year. Um, more so with the IMRF, um, but there is variability with, with those. Okay. So again, sometimes those will change. Often that happens in the fall around levy season. Um, you know, and then, um, you know, the decisions made in the fall and then takes effect at the start of the year, same as with the insurance. So there's some variability there. But looking at where it's set at now, that's our projection for where we plan to end up. Okay. Um, I've got a, a spreadsheet that I have set up with everybody's um, pay history, um, hours, rates, et cetera. And then it also breaks out um, cost of insurance and other expenses attached to each person's salary. Okay, um, that's, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, the IMRF and Social Security. Plug in all the numbers. So uh, the, the much shorter answer is yes. Okay. We've matched it. And Fair enough. That's where okay. we're projected to be. All right. Thank you. Okay. But good questions. Yeah. Because those those are different and they do represent things that are moving. Kathy, do you have any questions? No questions. Are you ready to present this to the board for approval? Okay. So I don't know if you have any additional. Um... Yeah, Eric, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, are you? Are we ready to present this to the board? Yes. Okay. Yep. So do we, do we have to vote on that today, tonight? Or did did we vote in the past? And this is just I'm yes. Just, okay. So the vote to approve. Was it last? Um, if we're going to present, sorry, Eric, you're you're sort of breaking up on on my okay. end anyway. Yes, awesome. yeah, I froze again. Right. Oh, the Wi-Fi. Right. So um, real fast, while we've got you, do we have to vote to approve this change? Uh, no. Okay. The the vote. Uh, because it was a change that happened between meetings and then this is the copy that was presented tonight. Um, you know, we would be voting to approve this as it was presented this evening. And not to approve, but to recommend approval to the full library board. Okay. Did we vote on that tonight? Yes. Oh, we do. Okay. 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 Yes. So, so do you need a motion then, Eric? Yes. To recommend and to the full library board 2020 to 2023 budget. Okay, let me, so, <laughs> that was a little chimey. Let me try to, uh, the motion is to recommend to the lab, total, full library board um, approval, I'm kind of paraphrasing, of the 2022-23 budget. Yeah, and I will second. Okay. Um, and Eric, are you there? Eric. Well, Bill, I vote aye. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I vote aye as well. I'm here. Oh, there you are. Okay, Bill and I made a motion. Uh, so <laughs> I, I think we've got a motion and a second. Yes. Uh, Kathy, Kathy made the motion, I second, and we both said aye. Yeah. Individually. <laughs> Let's hope this one doesn't go on YouTube. All <laughs> 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 right. Are you okay, Eric? We we, we uh, with with what we did. Yep. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we motion seconded, approved. Yeah. We're we're we good. We're you know, good. We, we've covered our bases. Yeah. Okay. okay. It's just you know. I'm, just laughing and pulling my hair out at you know the funny things that technology does when you give it the chance. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, anything else? Have we? Oh, really? There you are. Okay. All right. Oh, but you must have gone. Well, uh, yeah, we should we should adjourn I'll, before you before yeah, uh, I'll, I'll I'll make a motion to adjourn then yeah, I second. Okay, and then I will. Thank you very much and have a good evening and I will leave the meeting and then um, I'll leave you and, and Kathy. Very to, good. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next okay. week. Bill. Thanks care. very much. Okay. Take care, Bill. Bye. Hold up.